And today you see 46 year old Phil Negro still in search of his 300th victory. It'll be his fifth effort. He's been having a little tough time trying to win that 300th, Phil Rizzuto. He really has. And it's not that he's pitched bad baseball, he just was pitching when the Yankees were not hitting. Right now, Damaso Garcia hitting 283. There's a fastball hitting the Yankees. Let him hit it all day there. That's what Doyle Alexander did. And Ricky Henderson comes in, makes the catch, one man out. All right, here's Rick Leach. Leach hitting just 219. Did you see that white? He struck him up with a change-up knuckleball. Leach laughing. No way he could hit that. Tough to catch, let alone hit. And here is Lou Thornton. Oh, that's it. Oh! <laughs> You don't mean the left, but that's twice now he's thrown that change up off the knuckleball and gotten a strikeout. Three up, three down, and at the end of one, it's the Yankees three and the Blue Jays nothing. Leadoff walk to fielder here in the bottom of the second. Jeff Burrows up now for the Toronto Blue Jays. This could be two. Meacham, Randolph, one to Mattingly, double play. And there are two men out here in the bottom of the second, and Kelly Gruber steps in. And he pops this one up. Willie Randolph, side retired, no runs, no hits, nobody left. We've gone two here in Toronto. Damaso Garcia, the only regular in the lineup. Negro has pitched to just nine men the first three innings. There's that knuckleball, the change up on a knuckleball, and Cotto has to come in. One man out. First and third, two men out. Yanks lead 3 0. Now, this guy is strong. He'd be tough with Burroughs because he keeps the bat back and uh, doesn't take that. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Beautiful curveball there on the corner. No runs, a hit, no errors. Two men left, end to four. He has walked two through the first five innings. So Manny Lee walks, leading off the sixth. And here's Damaso Garcia. It's 2-0 and oh on Garcia. It might be two. Meacham, no, Damaso runs well. He'll not, yeah, they get him. Garcia, they got him easily for the double play. 6-4-3, and they're two outs. Rick Leach has struck out, and he's walked. He's 0 for 1. Well, Mr. Leach just goes down on strikes, and that'll retire the side. Negro has walked three. He struck out four. His fifth attempt at career victory. Whoa! Right on Rulo. And Shepard is the first out. Two men out, bottom of the gate. So a two-out single by Lee and Gardoy. Bobby Meacham goes the short way. The side retired. Phil Negro needs three more outs to become the 18th pitcher in baseball history to record 300 wins. All right, there's Phil Negro gunning for number 300 lifetime wins. All the Yankee players, including the people in the bullpen, will be ready to run out and congratulate Negro. Negro has had some kind of a ball game. He's allowed three base hits, no runs, and he'll be pitching to Rick Leach. Bouncer back to Negro. And that's one, two to go. Bill Negro, he has put aside all thoughts of the 300 until the pennant was decided. And now he is excited for the first time. He said, what good is winning the game, my 300th, if we lose the game and the Yankees don't win the divisional title? Now that he can't win it, he realizes how big this is. The center popped to short, and he pops this one up, and Weiniger is there. And that's two. One more to go. And Phil Negro will join that illustrious list. And we got a pinch hitter, Tony Fernandez, I believe, batting for Cecil Fielder. Line to left center, and that's in for a base hit. How do you like that, Fernandez? And he stops at second base with a double. I can't believe that. And the batter now, Jeff Burrows, who has one of the four hits, he doubled in the seventh. Also hit into a double play and struck out. Look at this, Joe Negro, the brother, is coming out. This is a little bit of uh, upsmanship by the Yankees. Joe Negro, the brother of Phil Negro, coming out. And he's going to have a little talk to him. <laughs> and uh, there are a couple of good actors. I don't know whether they're grooming Joe for a future managerial job. But Weiniger out there listening. And look at the Yankees. Uh, Billy Martin put Joe Negro up to that one. That is really something. And the fans get a kick out of it. Look at this. <laughs> All right. I tell you, that shows you something. The Yankees are not poor losers. They're hard losers, but not poor losers. Blue Jays deserved winning it. Still a ball and two strikes, two out. One pitch maybe away from win number 300.
That's it! Holy cow, what a way to end it! A strikeout gets his 300th career win, and I tell you, this is really an exciting moment in a year that's been filled with exciting moments for the Yankees. The brothers hugging, and oh, I want to tell you, that that is really an emotional moment. Phil Negro is really something at 47 years of age. Uh, Negro being congratulated, I'll tell you, he is really in seventh heaven. And the Yankees are walking out along with Negro. What did that fellow who came out of the mound in ninth didn't have to say to you? He wanted to know if I wanted to walk that guy or piss the burrows. <laughs> Phil Negro, 1959, you broke into professional baseball to dream of this day, and finally having it become a reality. Well, what's going through your mind right now? Oh, uh, gee. <laughs> exciting, huh? Yeah. It's exciting. First of all, I think the most important thing, you pitched under a lot of pressure during this past week. How's your dad doing? I know a lot of folks are very interested in that. You told me took him out of intensive care today. So. Oh, that's, that's even better news than 300, isn't it? You went out there. You went out you tried five times, Phil, and uh, it had to be getting you a little bit. You know, keep going out there. Your last game against Baltimore, you pitched a good ball game, but just weren't enough runs on the board by the time you left. So when you came out here today, what was going well, through your mind? I done something. Just I didn't throw a knuckleball until the last batter to play today. I did not throw a knuckleball until Jeff Burroughs came up to the plate. And I told Butch that we got ahead of him. I wanted to strike him out with a knuckleball. Uh -huh. And I got the first pitch of the fastball, and I says, Butch, if I'm going to win the three and it's going to be on a knuckleball if I strike him out. So uh, the last pitch is a good knuckleball, and that's why I won the win the 300.